in order to even emotionally regulate properly so that sleep is foundational because we know that REM is often being referred to as like your inner therapist, uh, where each night you're going through that REM uh, process. And on the other side of that, you're being able to kind of make sense of the charge, the emotional charge of events that have happened in your life and how you're connecting those to previous events. So whether these negative, quote unquote, um, if we might be filing them away as negative, filing them away as positive, um, and being able to, what we're finding is that it's actually just a really cool study that came out um, in nature just recently and looking at that the more um, consistent and count onable sleep that's REM rich that we're able to get, it seems to be able to dull some of the intensity of that, those negative perceived events um, and then help us kind of process through into that positive. Now, um, mm. these are out of you know mice studies and what have you, but it does appear to be rooted in the fact that that is going to help support the mindset, um, uh, kind of process that we'll be getting into, but to answer your question around sleep and mindset, there is so much that we can discuss, but one of the things that I see, uh, you know, time after time are labels where people will, uh, dis, you know, determine I'm a night owl, I'm a short sleeper, I'm a bad sleeper. It's in my genes or any such, um, you know, narrative, and then look for that evidence to continue to support that. Um, and that can often, uh, go in alignment with some kind of maladaptive behavior with our sleep. So part of it is really beginning with exactly what you said with starting with mindset. Do you, can you, is there a sense that you believe that you can get great sleep or that you deserve great sleep or any of those sort of narratives? Um, we do want to start there because in any area of transformation behaviorally, no matter what it is, if you don't think you can get to that end goal, then you're going to have a really hard time making a real difference.